Wonderful win yesterday. Perfect day for us. It was uh, more than a win. It was a really nice stage and the way you, you won. So congratulations, the whole team. Working very good. Still eight days to go. Today, for sure, Colombia is going to do all they can to have a sprint at the finish line and to get the points during the race. All three jerseys are very close to each other. The mountain jersey just changed yesterday. The yellow jersey is not, the top riders are not far from each other. And uh, yeah, the green is absolutely exciting. They are just five points uh, away from each other. So we have on, on all three jerseys, we will have exciting racing. Come on! Good job, man. You were strong this season. You did the perfect. I think I couldn't see on television, but you know, it was, a, it was the best chance you get there. Super, man. It's good. Perfect. He's left on the left. He's on the left. Yes. 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 They want, they want somebody in between. You saw that? I want to see the result. But what do you think? This is a junior race or what? Yeah. That's just a joke to, to do something like that on the he finish closed, line. He was passing and he closed again. Just he has to break. If two has to break, it's, it's, it's over now. Direct of this qualification. Yeah. Jens, what did he say to you? What did he tell you? Yeah, Andrea said um, that it was an unfair sprint. That uh, Cavendish rode him a bit in the barricade. So we have to analyze on the video what happened. Who told you the chief comp? The chief comp. He say okay. we look at it. He, they look at it. Then they go three. Uh, three of them. They talk about it. Yeah. He came back and he say. He's disqualified. No, I think that they take his point. They class I think he used uh, they class A. For me, the problem is in these situations, you can try to play the game, but you have to do it in taking taking the chance. Well, he didn't take the chance. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that person. How do you feel we are a fair player? Right from the start, after 8Ks, we have already a third category climb. You have these climbers and then you have sprinters or you have the people who have to work on the, on the flat and they are just not able to follow the, the good climbers or they are not able to follow the guys who want to be in the front in the classement. It's just a thing you are born with. You are just too big or too heavy. Yeah. But Carlos, how much do you want that in bottom of the last climb if, if we know that we move you up? Or you prefer just DC? If you are just behind me, just in the case that I need something. So okay. behind is better than in front. Yeah. Okay. I move just just on my speed, use without spending any, just you know. If it's not better that we. <laughs> I don't know how it is. And you have to shout at me. I don't know. I, I'm not sure if I can survive the second category. I think these real climbers from a race like the Tour or, or Vuelta or Giro, if you send them to Roubaix and say you have to be at this Villadrome in the end, 40 minutes behind the winner, this will not be easy for them. It's the same like for me here in the mountains. I know, guy here, <laughs> Dark Otto Lauritsen, who was second in Flanders and a real good cyclist. He was in TVM, lived in Nino for I don't know how many years. What do you mean, Brandon? With the hair on, three no, years old. Hair. If I look like this, was 53. Fucking hell. I yeah, made I everything go so yeah. What's he taking? Right, he's hit in yeah. a. Uh... Oh my god, look at Roger's right misses. You got? Is this going there, my right? Yes. Fucking hell. I talked to the judge. He said it was very clear. Of course, I, I, I no, no doubt. I disqualified before I hear any protest yeah. because they really tried to box him in, you know? Yeah, two or three times. Yeah. Food is Oh, to his Oh, he's playing with Cavendish. Because Cavendish is the fish.
Yes. We had this for about an hour yeah. uh, the other day, and that's when they gave them the jersey, so. All right. Yeah. How are you doing? All right, mate. Pretty good. Just, uh, so you're working hard all day there? Yeah. Uh -huh. Up there at the start. And did what we can for Carlos until the end, so. Yeah, it's still a long day. It's real Tour de France day today. It's solid all day, so. Contador showed us a thing or two at the end today. Not that I saw it, but what I heard. Mm. And Carlos did very well too. Right? Yeah, I heard, yeah. Carlos is uh, he's intelligent as well, so he knows it's got a lot of hard days to come. He won't, he won't blow himself up. Maybe it wasn't steep enough for him either today. That's the problem, it's just too fast. So we'll see, Tom will tell. Yeah, every day is important here, you know. Today we have two long climbs, a long valley between climbs, and it's a, it's not an easy day, but it's good for a climber. Come, come, come. Get the shot of him. That's Carlos. No, it's Marcante. Get a nice shot of Marcante. Look, he's covered in blood. <laughs> Pues nada, era, faltaban 20 kilómetros, eh, fui a coger agua al, al coche, entonces al coger agua bajando, digamos a 60, 70 por hora, el coche se me vino hacia mí un poquito, al darme manillar pues me desequilibré y ya me caí dando vueltas. <risa> Uh, Sales uh, told you for me the most important thing today is be safety, don't take any risk, go as far as you can. Only I want to say thank you to all of you for the support that you give me until today. Today is the day that I was waiting uh, since the beginning of the Tour de France and I don't know what can happen, but uh, today is the day that uh, when I can change this race. But it's something you have, uh, only big cyclists have this, or real champions. I know it from former teammates. I don't want to say that he's not very strong, huh? but I think his mind is stronger than his body. So if he doesn't talk in the evening and doesn't talk in the morning, then I know what's going to happen. And if you see the chance, you take it. Okay, too soon you're gonna have the downhill. It's wet over there. Should be wet normally. Don't take any risk there. You have one minute and 15 seconds. But he deserves that luck. It's what you need. He's luck, but he, he looked for the for that. Yeah. He took the risk on the downhill. Oh, five seconds after that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. An action like this is very, very unusual for a sprinter. We, kn we know he can do this kind of stuff, but yeah, on the hardest stage of the tour so far, yeah. it's um, really, yeah, really impressive. Nice to see. This can be very important points. And this hurts Cavendish so much. Now will be 30 points ahead. Yeah. yeah. I think that's the best day on a bike ever had. Good job. They start now, huh? They go full gas now, huh? Bueno, pues, ha sido rabia, ¿no? Mucha rabia interior porque eh, no puede estar al lado de Carlos en un día muy difícil también para él y, y pues, en condiciones normales tenía que haber estado ahí ayudándole. Mucha rabia y impotencia. Dame, dame, bidón. Algo más, chitín. Otra de agua. Está bien, ¿no? Que se sale un día, pues que al final tienes viento de, de cara y no, no sale todo como quieres, ¿no? Hay unas veces que sale y otras que no. 
Carlos's attack proves unsuccessful, and he's dropped from the lead group, finishing over seven minutes down on the leaders. For last year's winner, it was now clear that his hopes of a podium spot in Paris are over. It's not nice that he had a not his best day or the others were stronger, but okay, that's life. You only can give 100%. He's still just Carlos. I mean, obviously, you can feel his disappointment. For me, he's still the same guy. He's still super calm, positive, uh, focus on the goals. You know, he's still got a very important stage on Saturday that he can win, and also Tor's got a stage on Sunday that he can win. So he's not going to shift his energy because it'll shift the whole team's energy. 